Welcome to Mountain Crypto. I'm your host, Shane Ripley. We talk about crypto from a different perspective. Here we are in the beautiful San Diego mountains. So it's not that I have a mountain of crypto, it's just that we have mountains in the back. So first we want to give our disclaimer. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. We're not financial advisors of any type. We don't advise at all. We're just sharing information, sharing our viewpoints, our thoughts, uh, what we did, and sharing news from time to time. Hopefully helping people um, have a better time. Also, we have a podcast. It's under uh, Mountain Crypto. You can get that on Apple. And uh, it's kind of nice. We do a top 10 and a uh, little tidbit here and there, a little news. Kind of nice to listen to um, while you're driving or whatnot. Also, we're a different kind of crypto um, station, I guess you could say, or channel. Um, we don't use bad language or anything like that. There's a lot of great people that are in crypto. I have a ton of respect for them. There's a lot of young people. They are super smart. I have learned a ton from them. Um, but crypto's become pretty much my part-time job. And I try to listen to and get educated as much as I can. I recommend everybody do the same thing. And uh, a lot of them, you know, because of how smart they are, I guess, um, it's my opinion. They feel that, you know, they can use whatever language they want whenever they want. And that's fine. They're, they're entitled to that. Um, I certainly am not perfect, but I appreciate when I can feel safe listening to something with my kids in earshot. So you're not going to get any of that kind of uh, language on this channel. And um, also, we want to ask you guys, uh, you know, please give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. Support us. Um, as we try to improve the content and uh, the quality of what we're doing. We're going to share um, our experiences, good, bad, and indifferent with you, um, share news and thoughts and things of this sort. Today is just kind of a background in history. This is going to be my initial podcast for the channel. Um, we do have a website. It's uh, mountaincrypto.net. Uh, it's not up yet. It'll be a while. Uh, before I get that going, I'm working on all sorts of technologies to improve um, the podcast and the YouTube channel to make it uh, more enjoyable and just cleaner and more interactive. So uh, bear with us as we make improvements moving forward. Um, a little bit of my history. I've uh, been here in San Diego, beautiful San Diego, for over three years. Part of that, I uh, lived in the beautiful island of Maui uh, for almost two years with my family. Wonderful place. Um, came back here for work reasons. Um, other than that, I've been my whole life in California except for maybe a little shy of two years in between Reno, Nevada and also Las Vegas, Nevada. So truly a California guy here. I love the weather. Um, and uh, that's, that's the best thing about it. As far as my professional background, I've been an engineer, mostly a mechanical engineer, but uh, I've been involved with computers early on and um, on the hardware side and programming. And uh, I wouldn't call myself a uh, super expert, but uh, probably more than the average person and um, learning every day, learning every day. Other things I've done in my career is uh, part-time real estate um, investor. I still have a real estate license. Uh, I, as far as crypto um, is concerned, I would say the relevant things that have drawn me to it is I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, probably you who are interested in uh, crypto either heard that there's people making uh, millions of dollars in crypto, which that's true. Um, there's a lot. There's people losing money too. Um, but there's a huge opportunity here. So anyway, um, some of the things that draw me to crypto was I'm an entrepreneur. I was into networking and marketing um, here and there. I've been into computers. Uh, I've even worked with uh, multi-level marketing, which is not a pyramid, but uh, just entrepreneurial spirit. I still have some businesses that, uh, that I work up to this time. If you go back in history, um, investing. I was in the dot-com time when when all the 
the dot coms where everybody's making money in the stock market trading uh, the dot coms and the different stocks and um, it's kind of a lot like now you know I, I use a term that if enough wind blows even turkeys will fly so right now it's very speculative and um, it's a lot like the stock market when I was in the stock market I was very fortunate I did very well and um, in fact I even had enough money to buy a really nice motorcycle bought a, a brand new uh, 2000 Harley fat boy a lot of it was based on um, some great trading that I did I had one trade go bad and uh, it actually really um, you know my six cents came up and I pulled out as it, it started to drop I pulled out of that and I pulled out of everything and um, no particular reason no particular experience just something gave me a bad vibe I pulled everything out and it was the best thing I ever did because uh, it just tanked after that uh, I had friends that lost life savings and retirements that they had invested in um, don't do that with, with crypto for God's sake don't do that um, I was in the real estate boom I had a lot of rentals and um, you know I played a lot safer than a lot of my friends were playing with the zero down game and all that I put a lot down and the market tanked and the real estate uh, rental market went down and uh, you know I lost a lot of money um, getting out of those properties so uh, I've been been through the ups and downs you know I've been up the down elevator <laughs> at times excuse me <coughs> I uh, just got over flu uh, a couple weeks ago and still got the bronchitis. I uh, started playing with crypto back in about 2012. Um, people were talking about it. It was on the internet. Um, there was different ways you could, you know, listen to a million ads and earn, you know, one one tenth of a penny here and there. And I actually had some wallets at that time. I don't even remember what they are anymore. They're, they're non-existent anymore. I can't even look them up anymore. So uh, I've always been interested in crypto. And then two, uh, 2017. I got back into it, started investing, started learning, started researching, um, and then December we had a real market boom, and uh, you know everybody's attention was drawn to um, crypto. And since then, it's really gone down. I wouldn't say it's tanked because there's still a lot going on. There's still a lot of people making a lot of money. Um, you just have to know how to do it. Uh, in January, I got my first uh, mini miner. And started mining with that and uh, at some point we'll have some videos I'll we'll talk about the lessons learned in that um, then back uh, into February beginning of March we got a uh, Litecoin miner so we've been mining Litecoin um, that's interesting I'll do an episode on that and um, the profitability of it also um, playing around with uh, GPUs and uh, raspberries and things like that so we might touch on that a little bit I'm by no means an expert but uh, and I can certainly show you uh, some of the ups and downs of going through that. So if you're new into crypto, I would say definitely get surrounded by a lot of friends, uh, whether they be you know on social media or in person that are dealing with crypto, and learn as much as you can. Research, research, research. That's the key. Um, I would say beware of people with uh, affiliate links. It, not that it's bad, but when they start pushing, you know, oh, you can get rich, you know, look at how much money I made on this and made on that. Um, it might not always be what it seems. There's a lot of fake news out there in the crypto world. You'll get a lot of ICU, uh, ICO reviews. Those are initial coin offerings is what that stands for. And, um, you know, sometimes the company pays people pretty good to give these reviews. And some people are very honest and they will give you their true thoughts on it and other people you know um, maybe have a vested interest and um, um, might not be so forthright on on some of the details so be careful um, take it with not a grain of salt but a pound of salt right <laughs> YouTube videos um, they're not always the truth right you, uh, you you see a lot of people out there and um, they come and they go I saw a lot of people that were pushing uh, BitConnect and they're still out there they got rid of all their BitConnect um, promotional videos and we were really pushing it hard you know they were sending out spreadsheets they could show every day how much money they were making just really trying to sell you on it they had their link they got referral fees and 
now they're backpedaling 100 percent and some of those guys are, are in big trouble and some of them are still out there actually never put more cash in than you can afford to lose this is kind of like a vegas trip it's kind of like the initial uh, stock market i believe that there's a lot of money to be made um, you gotta play it safe be careful don't put in any more money than you can afford to lose excuse me <coughs> i would say if you're going to invest and put money in put a little bit in here and there you know whether it be every week or every two weeks or once a month um, put the money in wait for a good buying opportunity buy on the dips um, historically more or less Bitcoin and uh, the altcoins kind of dip on the weekends, like Sunday. So that might be a good time to buy. And, um, you know, right now we're, we're going through a down market. So uh, I think I mentioned in the podcast, I don't know if I mentioned it here, that Ethereum is actually going through what some people describe as a double dip. And um, that it might be a buying opportunity for Ethereum, if that's something you're interested in. Um, do your research, start slow, start as safe as you can, be very wary of the websites, um, pay attention to you know, who's behind it, what countries they come from, and things of this sort. Um, you know, China, a lot, of, a lot of companies in China have been bad, but there's a lot of great ones too. So really look at who's behind it and um, be careful. Um, I've started doing more and more research um, every time on anything I put any money to or at least make sure that if I'm listening to a particular person that they seem you know like they're doing a ton of research and very reputable so with that um, we like to encourage you again you know hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up um, check out our podcast mountain mountain crypto um, we're on Twitter uh, mountain crypto with the number one uh, I'm on Facebook. It's under my name, Shane Ripley. Uh, I'm going to try to set it up as Mountain Crypto. We'll see how that works out. We've got a Tether. I think it's Tether. Uh, no, Telegram. It's a Telegram. Just set it up this morning. It's very unprofessional, huh? Yeah, I think it's Telegram. So, Telegram, if you're into that, I just started an account there. Um, and do your research. And that's about it for now, over and out.